so hello everyone in this tutorial we are going to see how to create a dashboard uh, or a gadget to calculate the workload uh, of your team members at any point of time in a sprint uh, so uh, this is very beneficial during planning or any point of time in a sprint when you want to check how many you know uh, workload your team has against your capacity and all that uh, so before i start this video i request you to please you know like uh, my uh, video and uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so to create a gadget uh, you need to go to a dashboard section uh, and there is a add dashboard add gadget button click on that so it's going to load all the gadgets uh, in case if if there are more gadgets and uh, uh, then and your uh, you know the gadget is not over here which you are looking for then click on load all the gadget try to search from this drop down otherwise i always go to search and uh, try to find so this is uh, my gadget which is workload pie chart and you need to click on add gadget once you click on this it will automatically add the gadget uh, behind so click any any place outside this uh, pop-up window and here is your uh, workload pie chart so the first input which this chart needs is a filter filter means a query uh, on the basis of which it is going to fetch the results so before getting more into details of workload pie chart let's go to filters and create a filter for you go to filter section and uh, create a new filter so go to create filter so you can <clears throat> give your project name <clears throat> and your sprint name uh, so click on search button so what it will autom automatically list down all the items whether it is defects or a task or automation ticket anything in your sprint uh, and uh, yeah, as a result of this filter so this will be used as an input to workload by chart click on save as let's give a very uh, meaningful name uh, work load of my team click on submit so now let's go back to your gadget again so yeah my gadget is still here so you can find by typing your gadget name over here workload of my team or you can go to advanced search and try to uh, you know search from here there's if you have clicked if you marked your gadget as start it will automatically come over here you can and you can go to search and then you can search on the basis of who has created whether it is shared with anyone or not or the most popular one so uh, let's select let's try to search my filter so workload of my team is my filter. I've selected that. It's started coming over here now. Statistic type. So I want to display the workload of a team member. And team member will come as an assignee against defect or a task. So I'll select assignee from statistic type. Now the next is the time field to report on. I don't want to report how much time my person has already, my team member has already spent. I want to check the current estimate. So please note that current estimate is equals to your remaining hours. So, okay, there are two things. One is the estimation. Another is a filled hours. The third one is the remaining hours. So this is your filled hours. This is your estimation and this is your remaining hours. And next is refresh in hours. I want to refresh every 15 minutes. Click on save button. And here it is. It's showing that of Ms. Sahuta team member has one day of work. John has three days and three hours of work. And there is one day, two hours of work, which is not assigned to anyone. So what we have just done over here, we have created a chart. We have created a view. where at any point of time within the sprint or starting with the sprint. You can check out how much load your work team member has.
so like this way i will keep on sharing the various uh, different uh, you know gadgets which zira has it is very rich in gadgets so you'll find uh, how to create different type of gadgets and upcoming videos uh, so 